Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Shauna. Today we are going to be doing a DIY. We are going to be making these wood photo ornaments to hang on our Christmas trees. Let's get started. For this DIY, you are going to need some scissors, a paper plate, some of this Mod Podge photo transfer, a foam brush. I bought this as a set off Amazon. I will link it down below. A pen or a pencil to trace your ornaments. Your ornaments, mine I bought at Hobby Lobby. They're just these plain wood rectangular ornaments. I will leave them linked down below. And then your pictures that you want to transfer printed on regular printer paper. So the first step is just to trace your ornament on the picture. So you want to make sure you outline the shape of the ornament on your picture so you have a canvas to cut out. Next you're just going to want to go ahead and cut around the line that you just drew on the picture, trying to get as precise as possible so that your photo will match up correctly with the ornament. We just want to cut it out so that we can put it on the ornament. Next, we're gonna go ahead and shake up our Mod Podge really well, and then I'm gonna put my photo on the paper plate so that none of the Mod Podge gets on the table. And then I started to put this off to the side, but I ended up just putting the Mod Podge directly on the photo and then using the brush to spread it around. You wanna make sure it's a pretty thick layer so that you can't see the picture really coming through. You wanna make sure you cover the entire photo from top to bottom and make sure you can't see any of the color coming through it. Once you have your thick even layer on you're going to gently peel this off of the paper plate and now we're going to line it up and put it on the ornament picture side towards the wood ornament so you do want to make sure you do this quickly and um in just one set you don't want to try to move it around much after you set it down so you're just going to put the picture on the ornament with the picture facing the ornament and then you're going to try to smooth out any air bubbles that have might have popped up. I used a credit card in the future on this. Um, with these little ornaments, they were pretty small, so I could just use my fingers. But if you're doing anything bigger, you're gonna want to use like a credit card or a gift card or some sort of like hard surface to kind of smash all those air bubbles out. I then took a pair of scissors and just trimmed any extra paper that was hanging off the edge. Um, I wanted to try to get this as lined up as possible, the photo with the ornament and have nothing hanging off the ends. You are then going to want to let this sit for 24 hours before we move on to the next step. So after it's been 24 hours, you're going to want to take your ornament and a little bowl with some water in it and then you are going to want to get your ornament wet on the paper side so basically I just take my fingers and I wet it all down you can also use the brush that you used for the Mod Podge or you can use a wet towel or a paper towel or something like that I've seen it done all different ways I found that my fingers were the easiest so you just want to wet it all down until you can see the picture through it and then you want to wait a minute or two and let the water just kind of soak into the picture and start working its magic. So this part you're going to want to do over some sort of surface that can be easily cleaned up. I just grabbed another paper plate to do it over, but you're going to want to start softly rubbing your photo in a circular motion. Um, to start having the paper peel up as you can see here you want to press hard enough that it'll start to peel up but not so hard that you go through to the actual like picture so and you'll just keep doing that all over the photo until you get all of the extra paper off of the top of it you want to be really careful around the edges I usually use more of an up and down or like an outward motion towards the edges so that I wasn't um, peeling the whole thing off of it because the edges were very sensitive. So you just wanna be really careful around the edges, but keep doing this for a while until you get all the paper off of it. You will need to re-wet your photo occasionally to keep getting the extra papers off of it.
If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video. I am posting new videos all the way through Christmas Eve every single day right now for Vlogmas, so you're not gonna wanna miss any of them. Here's what your photo should look like once you get all the paper off of it. As you can tell, there's no like white paper left. Next, you are gonna to want to let that dry completely and then you're gonna take some Mosh Posh, gl Mosh Posh glossy stuff or you can use matte. Um, anyways, you wanna take some sort of clear Mosh Posh to do a coat to kind of seal it all. Now this top coat, you are gonna to want to apply it pretty thin and evenly across the entire photo, making sure you get all the way to the edges so that it seals the photo on and you're not having to deal with it popping up on the edges. Um, you just, like I said, you wanna make sure it's a very even and very thin coat. It will show up white at first, but this will dry clear, so don't worry. Once that's coat's on, you're just gonna to wanna to let it dry for a few hours and here's what it'll look like. So now our last step before we can hang these on the tree is to deal with these little teeny tiny holes. These ornaments came with extremely small holes, so I had my husband break out his drill and drill the holes a little bit bigger for me so that we can fit some string through them. And he did this on all the ornaments I had already finished. He just flipped them over and drilled it through the back, right through the paper on the front. And as you can see, now the hole is a much better size to fit some string through. If your holes were already big enough, then you can probably just poke like a pencil or a pin or something through them to make it work for you guys. Now for this final step, you're just going to need some sort of string and then your ornaments so that we can go ahead and get them hanging up. So for mine, I just push the string through. It's actually more like kind of like a rope thing for mine um, and then I just tied it into a knot and then cut off the excess pieces of it. And that is it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you like to see more DIYs, leave me a comment down below letting me know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.